Hello all. So I decided this morning those Christmas jars and I are not getting along. I'm not going to do the full jar. So I took the insides out and combined them. And I'm going to decorate it using this instead. This is going to be my final decoration. And you know what? I really kind of like it. And it'll go next to the other one I showed the other day, which I can show you really quick. And there. So these are going to be my new Christmas decorations. And they're glued on to the lids of those big uh, pickle jars. Um, like I said, the jars and I, we're not getting along. I'm done. So they'll be re recycled for something else, coins or something. In the meantime, I've decided I want to make a few frames for some of the drawings that I did that I really like. Don't know what the heck I'm doing. But the drawings that I picked, there's I think five of them. There is my poinsettia drawing. The sunlight's get kind of not the best today. There's my heart. My Santa, which I don't think I showed it at all yet. My newest one today, which is a little fairy sitting on a mushroom next to her mushroom house. See, there's the fairy. And there's the mushroom house. And the mushroom. And then I did a little elephant family. Okay, so those are the ones I want to do. So there's two landscapes. And then the rest are regular. Now, I have a whole bunch of my paper rolls that I made this morning, and I want to glue them, this one's getting a little loose, onto cardboard for one of them. I forgot to plug my glue gun in. Okay, solved that issue, sorry. I had a, button, a box that I just tore up, cut up, into all these pieces, and I don't know if I can make it work. Um, well, well that, that piece is long enough for the Santa one. Okay, so that's the one we're going to try. We're going to try Santa. I've never done one of these, so one, two, two of them should do it because I'll be cutting these in half. All right, so we're gonna put Santa up here. That's the one we're using. We're gonna use these two, and then we're gonna, in a minute, use those. But we gotta get these cut down to the size that we want. And we want to put these other pictures away so nothing happens to them. Santa doesn't wanna stay there. Or he's going to. There. Now, I don't want it really wide. Let's see, let's take two of these. I think we want to go three wide. Three wide should be the border. Yep, that's gonna be a good size. I, you will find, eyeball everything. Very rarely do I measure because it just I'm not that good at it and it just doesn't work out for me. So, but however, this time I'm gonna take my pencil or pen or marker, whatever you have handy, and I'm going to lay these flat. I'm gonna mark how far over it goes. So that way I know how big to cut my four strips. I'm not gonna be using that one though because it's not behaving, it keeps coming undone. It's this one okay that one's better so there's one two three and it comes right there and one two three comes right there all right so then I know I'm gonna want 
four strips. So then there's there, and there, that makes two. Boom, 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 boom. There, three, and four. It's kind of hard to see, but there's four marks. One with the glare of the sun, I don't know if I can get it to show up. But I did it on both ends so that when I use my ruler, I can make a line that's like decently straight. And then that way I can use that as my guide to cut. I haven't decided how exactly I'm going to cut this thing. I have my razor blade, but I have a hard time going straight with that. And even though these don't have to be perfect, because they're going to be covered, I want them pretty darn close to straight. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Move the camera just a little bit so maybe the sun will show up less. You get, oh yeah. Yep, that works. There's four. So now I'm going to try first cutting it with my scissors. It's not really thick. So I might. Oh, yep, that's going to work. Kind of went off a little bit on this second one. That's all right, though. There's two. I need to get something to drink, too. There's three. This is going to be a long video because, again, I can't pause it. I can only stop it, and I don't want to make this into two videos or three videos if I don't have to. I suppose I should have had this part done first, and that would have made it a little easier to watch. But you can fast forward through this boring part, but not quite yet, because what I, this is kind of thin, so I want to put it double layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally put it on top of my next piece and use this as a pattern. I'm going to glue it on, and then I'm going to cut it, because I don't, I want to get it as even as possible, and since I, this one piece is a little off, if I just do the way I did before, it's not going to match. So, in my brilliantness, I'm going to glue it, oh, I better get another glue, I got one, I'm going to glue it, put a little, quite a bit of glue on it, oh, I knew you were going to do that. Dun, 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 dun. Luckily, this one is really, really easy to reload. Don't do that. That's not how you're supposed to handle hot glue. And then, because it took me a little, an extra minute, this one up here got just a little bit. started to dry a little bit, so I'm just going to go over it just a little bit more. And I'm going to line it up with the edge. So that I only have to cut one edge. And much better, much better. What do I do with them? Oh, there they are. Right in front of me. I'm going to trim. Now this piece I'm trimming off isn't going to be big enough to do anything with, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this piece. I'm trying to be a neater crafter. You saw the eye roll there probably never going to happen. But I got my trash can right beside me, so but out of view and out of the path of walking. So there's one. So now I'll just use one other piece right side, or whatever you want to call it. And I will glue as many of these onto it that I can, and trim. Trying to be as 
straight as possible with this first one. The next one. So I get another glue stick ready. These are mini glue. It's a mini glue gun and they're mini sticks, which is why you see me going through them so quickly. Um, the regular ones, I wouldn't have to change it quite that fast. Um, but it's a lot easier on my hands to hold this mini one and so I like it so I'm sticking with it um, and the price of the mini sticks they're not too bad I think I seen them in the store like five bucks for 20 of them or something like that it, it was very inexpensive I mean, it might have even been less than five bucks I'm not sure all right one more one more and then I can trim and we can move on. Um, I'm not exactly entirely sure how this, like I said, how this is all going to work. Because I've never done it before. I've seen a few people do it. Okay, so I just put them on, all three of them, and then I'm just going to trim them up. Um, I've seen a few people do them online. But, you know, it's one of those things, if you don't save the video, you can never find it again. And I did not save the video, for whatever reason. And, um, this one seems to be a little bit thicker. Um, so, I'm trying to do it by memory from what I've seen. And, uh, I'm just cutting down the middle, and I'm, then I'm going to take it off and trim it, because it's just going to be a lot easier for me to do, because right now that going through the thick part of the box for whatever reason. And smaller things like this to cut is a little easier for me to maneuver. So this is what we're going to do. It takes me a few extra minutes because it's an extra step, but um, it's worth it because I do crafting because it relaxes me and it's fun and it, you know, it does kill time too and distracts me too, but um, I like it. So if I sit there and try to do something that's very frustrating or painful, then that takes that away and why bother doing it? So um, crafting can be very therapeutic. Uh, the only thing is I find myself talking to myself a lot if I don't have, you know, even if I'm not recording. Oops. But you know, whatever. I'm totally crazy. Okay, so, um, and the other thing is, I don't know if I want every single frame to be the same on these all five frames. I don't know yet. Alright, that's waste. Alright, <sighs> there's two. Um, I just haven't decided, I haven't seen. And a lot of it will depend on how this looks. And, you know, I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to do with these once these are up. Um, it's just, I draw, it, when I draw it's more like a, um, a doodle thing where, you know, just something comes into my head and I want to put it on paper. And it's also very relaxing. It's something I can do while I'm watching TV and just kind of, and it, it's, it's good therapy for my hands. Um... So I've got a few of them, and I don't, I just, I don't know, I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to do them and then throw them away. That feels like a waste of not just of the material, but of my time, and, you know, no. And I like them. Even the ones that don't turn out really right, I still like them, because I'm learning from them. Hopefully this isn't bothering you that I keep going in and out of you. I got one left. I just have such a limited space where I do my crafting um, that if I don't take care of the stuff, I've found that it's just not doable. Um, so far, I'm liking this idea, though. I like how sturdy it is when you put two of them together. And this part isn't even really all that bad. I mean, I definitely don't want to do ten of these in a row. I definitely need the break. 
just for my hand. But okay, so that was that, and that was done. And now what we have to do is we have to glue the paper things, newspapers. These are ads, newspapers, to the strips. Let's straighten back out. Okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to go just a below the end because I'm going to trim it off about that much but I don't want to do too much more because I may be able to use this excess on something else I think I'll wait I'll know more when I um, take it off so I've seen this done a couple different ways I've seen it where they they glue the newspapers together and then put it on or individually and I think that would be kind of a pain in the butt um, but we'll try it that way because I don't know how far oh if I got the measuring thing so we got one and then we just stick this right on top of the glue oh. and we burn our fingers that, that, that. Yeah. we got one more to do though so we would in there better. Alright, so we'll start here, and we go to about there, paper, and I'm going to show you in just a second here, because I couldn't do it holding it up. Basically, you get it like this. You can stand it up, put the glue on top, like you're building a wall, vertical wall. And then once it's dry a little bit, I've been uh, kind of running my hands to get those little cobwebby things. Ugh, things that I hate. Alright, that, that wasn't too bad. And then... Oh, by the way, when this is all done, I'm going to paint it like either black or, or a darker color. Um, I don't want it bright. For whatever reason, there we go. And then we put some more on. And just spread it out with the tip thing and then we put on our cardboard. So the cardboard basically is used for backing and stability, you know, structure. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> I did it. Uh, my video is 20 minutes long. We're going to turn this into a two-parter. Um, mainly because I got to get something to drink and I got to get some other materials over here. So, we will see you in a few minutes. I'm going to, before I start recording, I'm going to get these all together and then I'll turn it back, start the new video. Until then, have a good day.